OK, to look back over the tournament, we have rugby legend Tani Norton with us from Christchurch, former Black Fern captain Dr Farah Palmer, and Māori rugby player and assistant coach to Russia, Henry Paul. Tēnā koutou, thank you all very much. Tane, can I start with you? You've been to a few tournaments in your time. What's your impression of this year's Rugby World Cup? Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, from one end of the country to the far south, the country's got to, you know, take a lot of pride in itself, what it's done. Um, it's been an outstanding tournament. And I know the friendships these people have made with all the tourists that have come to this country will live for a long, long time in the future. Mm. And what about the standard of rugby itself, Farah? Have you, been, have you been impressed or has it not really impressed you? What's it been like? I think the atmosphere has impressed me and I think the earlier games were exciting. I went to the Romania-Georgia game in Palmerston North and, and everyone got behind that game. Mm. I think it hasn't been as much of a tri-fest as I think people thought it would be, mm. but it's um, still been some intense games. It's interesting you say that because uh, when Rotorua, my hometown, got one of the World Cup games, it was Namibia against Fiji and I thought to myself at the time, nobody's going to go and watch that game. Yeah. You'll probably get two or 3,000 people there. But some of those games between the Tier 2 nations, as they say, have really been filled out. The stadiums have been filled out and a lot of people have been going. Yeah, I think that's because you know, your average New Zealander wants to go and be a part of the World Cup and, and maybe these games are more accessible to them mm. and you just want to get, be a part of it. And uh, yeah, Everyone got into it in Palmerston North. They had buckets and yeah, we yeah. kind of got into that theme, so it was really good. Magnificent. And uh, what about the foreign perspective, Henry? I mean, you're here with the Russian team. First of all, I should ask you, how did you get involved with the Russian team? Um, well, it, yeah, it sort of came about quite um, quickly from, from when I was playing. I've just finished playing last year um, at Leeds Carnegie in the north of England. Um, the, the head coach for the Russian team, who qualified the team into the World Cup, um, lost his backs coach in the last minute. So he rang me up out of the blue, said, HP, uh, I know you've just retired. Um, the, the mud was still, still on my boots, really. Um, <laughs> but he said, mate, how do you fancy doing two weeks in Denver and a week in New York with the Russian team yeah. at the, in the Churchill Cup? And I was like, well, yeah, be great. Mm. You know, I'd always sort of looked after players uh, at whatever club I was, working mm. with the juniors. Um, but it was a fantastic opportunity. It wasn't to go to the World Cup. Mm. It was to see how I'd find my feet. And it went well, and, and uh, here I am now. Yeah, after. And how's the, how's the Russian team found it here? Um, the Russian team have loved it every moment. Um, we got walloped mm. on the field, pretty much, <laughs> um, by, by nearly everyone. Yeah. Um, because the standard of the, the guys we played against, Ireland, Italy, uh, Australia, was, you know, superb. You know, those guys are, you know, real good pros. They've been pros for a long time. Mm. Our guys have uh, learned the hard way of what it takes to be a pro. Mm. Um, but I think, you know, if we can learn some lessons from this tournament, um, then in four years, hopefully if we qualify again, yeah. we'll hopefully improve and be a lot better. But the noises, the, the cultural aspect of it has been amazing for Fantastic. the players. Fantastic. Tony, standout players for you? Oh, for, for New Zealand, uh, Ma Nonu for sure. And he's going to be a real big impact on tonight's game because I think there's one place where the All Blacks can attack the French. Um, they've played against Ma before and uh, I think he's a real handful for them. But... Um, and uh, Jerome Kono, Kano, um, two outstanding players. And But looking over the whole All Black team, I think you have to say they've all had a fantastic season, especially since the game they lost in uh, Australia. And I think that was a real wake-up call for us, what we needed. And I'm sure it's going to be a benefit to us tonight. Mm. What about the Māori players' contribution, Farah? I mean, we've got five in the starting lineup tonight. Oh, it's been awesome. Oh, it's been wonderful. And I think the fact that we've brought in the likes of Aaron Cruden and um, Jose Gere at the last minute, I think that that proves that we've got a lot of Māori talent out there. And, and I'm, I'm rooting for Aaron Cruden to have a great game. Tonight. And the Māori flair was on display in the semi final against Australia, wasn't it? Oh, definitely. I mean, I felt for Quade Cooper too. I, I felt yeah. aroha for him because, you know, he is um, one of us. And, uh, but too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> I actually went and watched the game uh, Wales against uh, Australia on Friday night. Quade Cooper was actually playing really well at the beginning of that game until he got injured. Um, Henry, what do you think? Let's, let's concentrate on the game tonight. I mean, you've had a bit of an outsider's view looking into the, the, t the teams, the French team and the, uh, the All Black team. What's your perspective? How do you think they're going to go tonight? Well, if you, if you go on the, the past performances over the tournament, I mean, the All Blacks sh should be a shoo-in. Mm. Um, 
but it's sport um, and the French have got this habit of uh, causing upsets. They've got strike power, they've got gas um, out on the flanks, some hard and experienced uh, forwards. Uh, so I think the All Blacks will be approaching it, you know, with caution, mm -hmm. a lot of caution. Uh, they'll, they'll have done their homework, they'll have poured through all the videos, they'll know where to break them down. Um, and I think that'll be evident early on in the game. You'll, you'll see the All Blacks come out, um, and their defence has been awesome, so they'll, they'll probably mm -hmm. want to keep that up, um, try and fl uh, f uh, fluster the, the French uh, attacking yeah. threat, which is Morgan Parra. Yeah. Um, but my old teammate is um, uh, Yashvili, oh, yeah. Dimitri. He's a key, and, he's a key uh, player, isn't he? He's, he's been yeah, the, the one rock that the French have been able to, to rely on. So I think they, the All Blacks will probably try and um, counter his threat. Yeah, yeah. Henry's talked about attacking ability from the French, but Tane, I want to ask you, do you think that this French team has got the same kind of flair and X factor that French teams in the past have had that's enabled them to upset teams like the All Blacks? No, they haven't showed it, but I'm sure they, uh, uh, something could just flick a switch tonight and they could turn it on. You just don't know with the French. Um, and this is a big worry. Um, a week ago, people were saying we put 40 points or 30 points on them. Well, I don't think those people will be thinking the same thing right at this moment because, I mean, a lot of people are getting a little bit nervous. I know we want to be confident, but um, I, I think we're going to find the French team come out and, and really give us a good, tough game. And I, I think, uh, but I think our forward pack will do the job, as Henry said, and uh, the, I'm sure our backs will finish it off. OK, it's time to put the uh, reputations on the line, everybody, and uh, give me your score and who's going to win. So let's start with you, Farah. What do you think the score's going to be and who's going to win? Well, I think the All Blacks will win, depending on which French team turns up. It'll either be a close game or if they're not even here, you know, if they're not passionate about it, I think it'll be a big score. But I I'd say about uh, 12 points. 12 difference. points? Yep. No more? No more. No I more? think it's going to be defence and it's going to be kicking really there and, and I'd like to see some running rugby but I just think the fact that it's a final mm. and, and it's intense that it'll be quite a close game. And I don't think the uh, French forward pack's going to roll over like the Australians did. They've got a bit of steel in there but Henry what do you think? Score? Um, but I, I, I think Farah is pretty yeah, on, on the money there. Um, I, I think if the All Blacks or well, if Perry's kicking like, like he's been doing yeah. lately um, I think. So you're saying All Blacks? Yeah All Blacks definitely. All Blacks by 12. Tony, All Blacks. Boy, I hate doing this, but um, years <laughs> ago I, I said um, we'd put 30 points in Australia and Greg Cornelison scored four tries and we lost. So I'm saying that the All Blacks will win this one, but tight encounter by 10 points. All right, Kapai, thank you all very much. Tane Norton, Henry Paul and the Dr. Farah Palmer, thank you all very much for coming in today. Kia ora.